Patagonia is most definitely a contender for the most beautiful place in the world. It is located at the southern end of South America and is a territory shared by the countries of Chile and Argentina. The striking scenery of Patagonia is the result of age-old glaciers and transformations that took place in the region millions of years ago, creating mountains and valleys, glaciers, lakes and rivers. With so much to see, what are you waiting for? Here are the must-do and see at Patagonia, South America. Los Glaciares, National Park, Argentina. Los Glaciares is the largest national park in Argentina. The park was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1981 and is part of the southern Patagonian ice field, which feeds an impressive 48 glaciers. One of the most visited areas in Argentina, the biggest draw here is the Perito Moreno Glacier, a mammoth ice sheet which is the third biggest freshwater reserve on the planet. Nowhere else in the world are you able to come up as close to a glacier as here. The view from the several platforms is extraordinary, as you can see the ice collapsing in front of you without being in danger. Another incredible way to see the glaciers here is by doing a boat tour, kayak tour or ice hike on the glacier. This place is just incredible. Torres del Paine National Park, Chile Torres del Paine arguably offers the best hiking in Patagonia and easily ranks among the best tourist attractions in Chile. Within its roughly 500,000 acres, the highlights include Grey Glacier, Valle Frances, and the granite peaks of the Torres del Paine Massif. This is a great hiking park. The most famous trail here is the W, which is named after its shape as it weaves in and out of valleys that allow you to get close to glaciers and mountains. The Torres Range beneath the Salto Chico waterfall on Lake Peue is the perfect photo that describes the beauty of the Torres del Paine National Park. Cerro Castillo National Reserve, Chile Cerro Castillo National Reserve is a nature reserve in Chile, located south of Coyhaique. The reserve is named after Cerro Castillo, its highest mountain and its main attraction. Cerro Castillo National Reserve is off the beaten tourist path compared to more famous places like Los Glaciares or Torres del Paine. Nevertheless, it is worth the visit. The scenery in Cerro Castillo is stunning, with its hanging glaciers, turquoise lakes, lush green valleys, indigenous forests and breathtaking views. Ushuaia, Argentina, on the Tierra del Fuego archipelago. At the southern tip of South America sits the Argentinian city Ushuaia, known as the southernmost city in the world, or sometimes called the end of the world. Ushuaia is often the last port of call for people on their Patagonian mission. The windswept town is perched on a steep hill and is surrounded by the Marshall Mountains and the Beagle Channel. There is incredible animal life at the Beagle Channel. You can explore the Beagle Channel by getting on a boat and sailing into the open water, just as Charles Darwin did on his ship the HMS Beagle, for which the channel is named. Along the way, you'll have the chance to see many different types of wildlife, including the sea lions at Sea Lion Island, colonies of black and white cormorants, giant albatross, and, depending on the timing of your trip, even a colony of Patagonian penguins. Ushuaia serves as a port to Antarctica, some 620 miles due south. But you can get a tiny taste of the Arctic right across the channel on Martillo Island, where a handful of penguin colonies make their home. How often do you get to say that you made it to the end of the world? San Carlos de Bariloche, Argentina San Carlos de Bariloche, also known as Bariloche, is a ski resort town in Argentina. It is located in the breathtaking Lake District, Patagonia. Bariloche is known for its Swiss Alpine-style architecture and its chocolate. Sold in shops, lining Calle Mitre, the main street. It's also a popular base for hiking in summer months for exploring the surrounding Lake District. The best hiking in the summer is Monte Tronador. Mount Tronador is Bariloche's highest mountain. It's one of the few glaciers you can truly sleep right next to and watch the sun rise over. El Chalten, Argentina If Torres del Paine is the hiking capital of Chile and Patagonia, and it is, then El Chalten is the go-to place on the Argentinian side. 
This colorful village overlooks the stunning northern sector of Los Glaciares National Park. Every summer, thousands of hikers explore the world-class trails that start right here. Founded in 1985 in a rush to beat Chile to the land claim, El Chalten is still a frontier town. Whether you are looking to do simple day hikes, longer treks, sample amazing food and beverages, or party in an absolutely stunning natural location, the tiny village of El Chalten has something for everyone. Spend a few days and discover the wealth of trails, waterfalls, forests and lakes the area has to offer. You won't be disappointed. Keolá National Park, Chile Keolá is one of the most natural and impressive national parks in Chilean Patagonia. It was created in 1983 and was inaccessible by men until a few years ago. The park's main attraction and the centerpiece is the Keolá Hanging Glacier, officially named Ventisquero Colgante. This hanging glacier was awe-inspiring. It is one of those breathtaking places in the world that makes you stand still and admire. The Marble Caves Chile The Marble Caves, accessible only by boat, are a series of sculpted caves in the General Carrera Lake in the heart of Patagonia. Also known as Cuevas de Marmol, this unique geological formation sits in waters shared by Argentina and Chile and is only accessible by boat. Over more than 6,000 years, erosion and light has turned geological formations into colorful works of sculpture. The lake currents lapped at the marble, slowly carving out the smooth formations you see today. Although the marble itself isn't a brilliant blue, it dances with displays of color when the water reflects its light. As a result, it changes color throughout the year, depending on water levels and season. The best times to visit Patagonia is October through November, which is springtime in the Southern Hemisphere. During these months, the weather is mild and spectators can view natural attractions with less crowds. January and February are the busiest time of the year. Thank you for watching.